we're now going to hear from um, um, an inspiring character. Um, he's 18 years old and lives just up the road in Killeen. Uh, and this is his story of trying to break into the industry. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Jake Stocker, please. Hey, everyone. Uh, before I start, I've just had an idea, a quick thing. Could anybody here who is an employer in the room raise their hand as high as you can? Anyone? Right, okay, fantastic. And everyone who's a student in education at the moment, look at them. And anyone who's a student, raise your hand now as high as you can. You lot, anyone in school uniform, colleague, Gwen, everyone. These are the people you're going to be employing. Talk to them, learn about them. Learn what they want, what they want to learn, how they can help you. That's all I wanted to say. Well, I'll start my presentation. Okay. So, first things first, my name is Jake, and why should you listen to me? Um, my name is Jake Stocker. I'm a computer science student at Collegwent in Newport, um, otherwise known as NASH. Um, I'm also a junior systems engineer for a company called Sequence, a fantastic place. I'll come on to that later on. So, the first thing I need to speak about is my experience of IT in school. Um, it wasn't great, if I'm totally honest. Um, the skills taught were irrelevant. One of my final projects that I had to do was make a clown in Publisher. Any employees in the room want that skill? Anyone? No. Um, the next thing is, because I've grown up with IT and anyone born from like in the 90s would have, we, we learnt these skills. We had a home computer, lots of people did. Why would I go to a lesson when I could, al I could already do the stuff? Um, there was a few cases where students knew more than teachers. For instance, hardware questions. I once asked the teacher about how, how to change a hard drive when I was like 12 or 13. They had no idea. They know how to use the applications, how to teach, but not the true skills that people in IT want. It wasn't enjoyable. Why would I... I've skipped a few IT lessons, I'm not proud to admit, but why would I go to a lesson if I didn't want to learn it? My experience of, um, of higher education. I'm currently in college at the moment, and a few skills that I've learned there are code skills, web design, and networking. These are all fantastic skills. They're useful, they're practical, but for some people, they are at a very basic level, and it's very good to get into IT, but once you know some, it's a lot better to get out into university or apprenticeships. Um, myself, personally, I have a lot of interest in IT. I've been teaching myself stuff. I've got a friend called Jack who helped me get into it as well. Um, the first thing I can recommend to anyone who has a chance to is take apart a computer, learn about it. Um, my friend Jack built a computer and three days later I built my one just because I was very inspired by that. Um, the next thing, raise your hand if you have heard of a game called Minecraft. Anyone? So, who, and online, you can play Minecraft online and you can have your own servers. So again, my friend Jack and I have run servers for Minecraft, and I've learned tons from that. It may seem like a game thing, but running servers is part of many businesses. The NHS have servers, Sequence has servers, servers are everywhere. How to troubleshoot, underrated skill. Troubleshooting is a fantastic skill to have because you can go through all the Microsoft troubleshooting, click next, all the wizards, all that sort of guff. But unless you know how something truly works, you can't troubleshoot it properly. Um, a few websites I want to point out to anyone who wants to learn about IT outside of school. Reddit, the forums there are fantastic. If you ask a question, you'll get an answer. Uh, Tom's Hardware, fantastic for hardware. It'll tell you all the specs, what you need to know, and even how to build a computer. Stack Overflow, for anyone who's interested in to learn how to code, this is a fantastic forum and a fantastic gateway into the coding community. Okay, now I'm currently working for a company called Sequence. We are a digital media agency. It's a very nice place to work, it's very friendly. The people I work with, I work in a team of five for networks and they are fantastic people. So employers who are in IT, you might understand this. Um, Skills that I've learned, Windows Server 2008, a fantastic skill to have. It's practical, it can be applied in almost any industry. Linux, um, anyone here heard of Linux? I'm pretty sure you have hands raised, anyone? Um, okay, who actually uses Linux as a operating system home? 
very few. It's used in business for servers. If you can get into Linux, it's a very niche skill and you will become so much more employable. Active Directory. This is a large part of what I do. I won't, go in, I won't bore you with the details, but it's to do with making user accounts, networking, and managing network resources. Uh, deployment of websites and logistics. Most people think with websites, they just like click a button and they're gone. Not the case. You have to register downtime with the company and make sure it all runs smoothly. Working as part of a team and communication skills. These aren't strictly IT related, but if you have these skills, you become more employable this instantly. Why would you want to work with someone who is this quiet and meek and just doesn't want to talk to you when you can work in a team? Um, student Beans earlier mentioned, don't go it alone, go as a team. It makes everything so much easier. So the lessons learned from this. Because I already, uh, uh, pardon me, because I already had IT skills that I taught myself, Sequence gave me a chance. I went on a week's work experience, I fixed a computer and they gave me a job. They were, they were they had no other qualifications from me, they just knew I could fix a PC. From there, uh, Sequence gave me a chance and I could improve my skills. I'm, when I first started the Sequence, I wasn't a worthwhile employee. I, didn't, I wasn't like doing all the really complicated stuff and you shouldn't expect to, but if you learn, you become valuable and you gain all these fantastic skills. Because I improve my skills, I can now provide a better service to Sequence. I can now go into work and rather than going to my boss, what do I do next? I know what I'm doing. It, takes, it takes, took me about two, three months to get the confidence to know what I was doing. I could go in, do my job, and feel like I'm doing it really well. Thank you very much for listening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you for your time.